In this video, I'm going to show you how to verify your identity on Cash App. The first thing you want to do is you want to go over here to your profile icon. Underneath account and settings, go ahead and press on security and privacy. And once you're here, all you got to do is scroll down and you will see identity verification right over here. So all you want to do is press on verify to begin the verification process. So the first thing you're going to be doing is putting in your date of birth. So go ahead and just put this in real quick. Okay, then it is going to ask you for the last four digits of your social security number. So go ahead and put that in real quick. Okay, once you're done with that, it should say that the information has been verified. And all you want to do is go ahead and press on done. The next thing you need to do is provide a photo of any identification you have. So go ahead and press on photo ID. Okay, so go ahead and just press on continue. And over here, it'll provide you with a list of all the different IDs that you could utilize. So go ahead and pick whichever one is most convenient for you. And now the next thing you want to do is take a clear picture of your photo ID. Make sure that you have good lighting and that everything is visible. Okay, then it will begin to check your photos to make sure that it could actually process your information and make sure that everything is legit. And the next thing you need to do is take a photo of yourself. So go ahead and just press on continue. And then it is going to go ahead and utilize the camera option. And then it is going to go ahead and check your photos. Again, make sure that your photos are clear. Make sure that you are in a space that does have good lighting so that it could see your face. And once you're done with that, you have now verified your identity and you can go ahead and press on done and begin utilizing Cash App to its full potential. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I will see you in the next tutorial.